Being resilient is important for parents as well as children. So how do we do it? Resiliency is picking ourselves up after we feel like we've been knocked down or getting through something that we feel has been really, really challenging, overcoming adversity. There are three things that we can do to get ourselves into a more resilient place. And the first is, instead of looking at things as, why are things happening to me? Look at it as, what am I gonna do about it? That's changing an emotional feeling or emotional response to the stimulus. Whatever it is that's happening in life, every day, things are going to happen. And if we look at those actions, those triggers, those things from a perspective of, I'm a victim, this is happening to me, why is it happening to me again and again, we get stuck. We feel burnt out, we feel overwhelmed, not resilient. But when we change that to what am I gonna do about it? We're feeling and we are empowered. We're taking a step forward, we're moving forward, we're brushing ourselves off literally and figuring out what are we gonna do next? How are we going to move forward? Now, this is important even when we feel like things are happening all the time. We might start to feel like, oh my goodness, this is happening to me. Why is this happening to me? But what we can do is stop that, shift, and tell ourselves, maybe even out loud, say, what am I going to do about it? I got this. I will work through it. And this leads to the second thing. Focus on things we can control. When we do, we will be more successful. Take action on things we know we have control over. What's happening to you? Maybe you're constantly late or today you're running late getting to work. What can you control? You can try and go faster. Something else pulls out in front of you and gets in your way. You can try and go around and something else pulls out and, and gets in your way. The one thing you can control is perhaps calling the office or calling a colleague and saying, I'm going to be late. Then you can relax into it and arrive safely. And when you arrive and then the next day, perhaps check the reports, the traffic report and maybe leave a little bit early, but focusing on the things we can control helps us feel better, less stressed, less anxious, and we get to the end result more successfully and we're more clear minded. When we're in a panic and we're trying to control things and it's not going and, and we can't and it's not going our way, we're not able to think as clearly. So we'll be more successful, calmer and healthier when we focus on what we can control. And then finally, self-care, <laughs> making sure that we take time for ourselves. That is always the last thing on everyone's priority list, especially parents. For good reason, we sometimes feel like everyone else is more important or everything else that day. But if we don't take care of ourselves, if we get tired, overwhelmed, burnt out, it's so much easier to go in that emotional place of why is this happening to me? And then trying to, trying to work through things by focusing on what we can't control. So invest a little bit of time. Maybe it's five minutes a couple of times a day just to breathe, to go outside, to to listen to the sounds of nature, to take a walk, to get some exercise, to call a friend, to have a sip of your favorite cup of coffee. You can also teach your children to do the same thing. What are the things that they love and start to do some of those activities with them, making sure they're prioritized, even in small chunks throughout the day and see how you feel, see how they feel. At the end of the day, you will definitely feel a little bit better. And the more that those unexpected things try to knock you down, the more you'll be standing in your power, feeling stronger and feeling more resilient. So good place to start is by shifting that emotional story we tell ourselves from why is this happening to me to reacting to things with, okay, what am I going to do about it? And the next thing is only focus on things we can control because that's a better use of our energy and our effort and we'll be more successful and making sure there's time for ourselves, our self-care. And that can include time with your children.